I'm Farmer Joe from Green Our Planet, and I'm looking for insects. an insect? It can hop. Can insects hop? Is this an insect? It doesn't have any legs. Do insects have legs? Is this an insect? It has eight legs. Do insects have eight legs? But what is an insect? Do you know? Let's go find out. Did you know that over 75% of all animal species on the planet are insects? If you weighed all the insects in the world and all the humans, which group would weigh more? Insects! They would weigh 17 times more than all the humans. There are more insect species than all the mammal species on Earth. There are more insect species than all the fish and whale species in the ocean. But what is an insect? Get a piece of paper and a pencil, because we're going to draw an insect. Farmer Joe's going to draw a picture on the board, and I want you to copy the picture that Farmer Joe does. So. Insects have three body parts, okay? They have, well, we'll draw the first one. I'm gonna draw each body part in a different marker, just so you know. You don't need different colors, but if you want to, you can use different colors. The first part is the head. So Farmer Joe is gonna draw the head right there. There you go. Sometimes insects have antennas. If you want, you can draw an antenna just like that. Okay, but that's the head and the head has the antennas and it has eyes and it has a mouth just like our head <laughs> All right, so Do you know how to spell head? H E A D 
<laughs> okay, that's how you spell head. Now, for the next body part, I'm going to use blue. And the next body part is called a thorax. Now, the thorax is in the middle. So I'm going to draw my thorax right there. And do you know how to spell thorax? Man, it's a really big word. So, Farmer Joe's going to help. T H O R A X. That's the thorax. Now, if Farmer Joe's going too fast, you can always pause so you can catch up. The next body part is going to be the abdomen. Man, that's a big word too. Abdomen is right there on the end. And abdomen has a lot of letters, so Farmer Joe's going to spell this one out too. A B D O M E N abdomen. Okay, so insects have three body parts. All insects have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Now the insects, they also have another body part, and well, it's legs. I'm gonna draw my legs right on the thorax. So I'm gonna use my blue marker again. We're gonna draw one. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six. All insects have legs, just like us. But they have a certain number of legs. All insects have six legs. That's how you can tell if an animal is an insect. It has a head, it has a thorax, and it has an abdomen and six legs. That's how you can tell it's an insect. Now, one more funny thing about insects is that all insects have their skeletons on the outside of the body. See, we have our bones on the inside of our bodies, and insects have their bones on the outside. That's why they're crunchy when you step on them. Every insect has six legs. I'm gonna write that right here so we remember. Insects have six legs. Now, let's see if you were paying attention. Is this an insect? No, it has four legs. What kind of animal is that? Is this an insect? No, he doesn't have three body parts. Is this an insect? No, he's got four legs. Is 
Is a whale an insect? Whales don't even have legs. Is an ant an insect? Well, an ant has six legs and it has three body parts. Head, thorax, and abdomen. An ant is definitely an insect. I'm at a school garden right now. Let's go see if we can find some insects. Does that sound like fun? Come on! Hey, look at this! It's our native pollinator garden. We planted native milkweeds in this garden. You know why? It's because milkweed plants are the only plants that monarch butterflies lay their eggs on. Do you know what a monarch butterfly is? They are butterflies that have the longest migration in the world. They can travel from Canada to Mexico or from the Rocky Mountains to California. That's where they spend the winter where it's warm. We grow milkweed plants here so monarch butterflies have a place to stop and eat on their way to California. Whoa, look at this. It's a monarch butterfly caterpillar. Now, is a caterpillar an insect? Does it have six legs? No, it has lots of legs. So, is a caterpillar an insect? Well, let's take a look at the life cycle of a caterpillar and find out. Now, when the monarch butterfly stops here at our pollinator garden in Las Vegas, it lays its eggs on our milkweed. It starts as an egg laid by its mother on a leaf. The caterpillar hatches and starts eating the leaf. Do you know what happens when a caterpillar gets big and fat? It turns into a chrysalis. And what do you think comes out of that chrysalis? Does another caterpillar come out of that chrysalis? No, a moth or a butterfly comes out of the chrysalis. Is a moth or a butterfly an insect? Yes, it has a head, it has a thorax, and it has an abdomen and six legs. Now a caterpillar doesn't have six legs, but he's still an insect. That's because he's a baby insect and he has to wait until he's grown up and becomes a butterfly before he gets his six legs. So is a caterpillar an insect? Yes, it's part of the life cycle of a moth or a butterfly. And in California, thousands and thousands of monarch butterflies gather in the trees and spend the winter together. Then, in the spring, they start to head back to where they came from, thousands and thousands of miles away. So remember my question in the beginning, what are insects? Well, now you know, insects are those tiny creatures with three body parts that do so many wonderful things, like pollinating our plants so we can all eat fruits and vegetables. So the next time you're outside, See how many insects you can identify. I'm Farmer Joe. See you later.